Larry King had a great interview last night with uh, Jake Brown, the skater who fell 50 feet. Have you seen this video yet? Unbelievable. Amazing, right? Unbelievable. Great video. His shoes, both of them. It's hilarious. Shot off his feet. I thought they didn't were... fall off. They shot off when I, he hit the the ramp. I thought it was his feet that just flew off yeah. his body. Yeah. He realized he was coming down like his front first, and he ca somehow figured to spin around and hit on his heels and then his ass. And then his shoulders and then the back of his head, which knocked him right out. But from hitting on his feet first, yeah. his shoes rocketed off his feet. Hysterical. Amazing. I lost my glasses and my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the X Games... Skateboarding. Uh, the X Games uh, understand uh, the future and making things better. Yeah. They are just inventing things year after year for this X Games. No jetpack competition, though. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's on the way. Extreme camel Uh It's on the way. Mm. They're doing extreme uh, skateboarding, obviously. Yeah. You see the size of that ramp? Yeah, they really did step it up a notch. Oh, totally. is that amazing? I wouldn't even go. I wouldn't walk up that. Did you watch that clip with the uh, commentary that was going on during it? The two guys? They... they called it and he was doing a great job right up until he launched himself <laughs> and came flying back down yeah but uh they are so excited they're like oh and he makes it because he did that you know that spin and he hits the ramp yeah. and then they, when he's up in the air flailing you hear him going oh 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 and he hits the ground and just oh oh yeah, they, <laughs> knew, they knew hit when he was going up that he was just yep. going in the he's supposed to turn not go straight up in yeah the air. they knew this was they go, this is going to be bad. and he came away from the wall so uh -huh. you're not going to hit the that slope and slide down because sometimes you see him they slide on their knees or they still just slide down he just hit flat wood from 50 feet up just unbelievable. But to see his feet pedal like he's. Like, oh, I know. I think it was twelve times. Just People one, love two, two, pedaling. Three. Because you, if you're in that position, you're you're gonna like say, I know we're not supposed to fly, but hell, I'm gonna give it a well, shot. Flap your arms. You're not gonna fly with your feet. <laughs> you're gonna give it a shot, no matter what you've read all over the years. That's so true. Your natural instinct is like, not to let this pedal. Happen. All right. It's Maybe right. I'll get some kind of movement <laughs> if I pedal. Right. It's like, wait, is I'm trying this. I don't care. I don't give a crap what the book says. <laughs> Maybe I'll be the first person. It'd be funny if he just took off across the crowd. <laughs> right, right, wow, like, this is like, amazing. What like, a stunt. It's going to be hard to beat that one. Superman. That's all we needed to do is just try. Break, no break. one ever gave it a shot. Nobody ever gave it a shot. They just fell. Pedal when this, you're falling. This, we, we're told you can't fly. Right. This one guy just went, I'm with, and he's just <laughs> whipping across the crowd. Amazing. And so, then Opie would actually get his future right there. Oh yeah. my God. I'm seeing floating this again. people. And again, man, they just keep <laughs> posting this uh, video up on all the video sites. All right, so Larry King phew, interviewed this guy. You want to talk about a generation gap. <sighs> what could he More of a gap than, uh, <laughs> <laughs> than the X Games ramp thing. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going uh, filthy on that Hey, one. they're already calling it the funniest interview ever. Someone is. Why are they calling it the funniest interview yet? Ever? We thought we were onto something. Some somebody just posted it on uh, YouTube and all the captions saying this is probably the funniest thing you're, that you're ever going to hear. I think they're going the same angle that we're doing. Larry King. Maybe they're fans of uh, our show because we've uh, picked up on this Larry King generation gap, clueless, out of touch, the Motley thing. Crew thing years ago when he intro when he uh, introed Motley Crew and interviewed him first and then introed him for their comeback. And called him the Motley Crew. The Motley, you, you got to get those. Tommy Lee, come here. Let me ask you, Tommy. Let me. Like he even knows who these guys are. Like he isn't completely disgusted by their appearance. His 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 shoulders are the most. I've oh. never slumped over with his big peanut head. He has a head <laughs> the shape it's shaped like a peanut with gray hair on top. He's just visually like one of the most disturbing people that uh. on television. He's just hunched over his head, and then his show. The actual suspenders are like in his shoulders, <laughs> like you know when a tree grows around a sign on the yeah. side of the road. That's what his shoulders have done with his suspenders. All right, here it is. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki's not depressed, is he? You're not the other down, are you, Nick? You're up. <laughs> hey, La hey, Larry, you got to come out and see one of these shows. Yeah, I got it. You start in January. How long are you going to be in L.A.? No, 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 February. You and Tommy are going on tour in January. Yeah, that's right. We, we, we headed up. 
Yeah. Yeah, like Larry King's going to actually go to a Motley Crue show. Bring me some whores backstage. Hey, I, I'm going to ask the roadies. I'm going to point to some whores in the front row. <laughs> Bring them back. You can get my leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here they come at the Palladium in Los Angeles. They're back together, their first live get together in five years. Get together. The Motley Crew are back. <laughs> the Motley Crew. The Motley and their little tea party get together thing. The Supremes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did the, it's got to yeah, be the. Because back in the day, everything had the. The, the Drifters. <laughs> the yeah, Doors. It was always the. <laughs> the Motley Crew. <laughs> That's why he said the. <laughs> The Nirvana. <laughs> oh, what an ass. Oh, that's the, the White Stripes. Oh, wait, that's real. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be touring with them. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let me... Uh, <laughs> what idiot. Did I tell you the time I saw Ozzy snort ants? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I went hunting with Nugent. Yeah. <laughs> Me and uh, Frank Sinatra tag team Mallory one night. <laughs> the Frank Sinatra. <laughs> All right, we got Larry King uh, interviewing Jake Brown, and uh, people are picking up on this and saying that it's the funniest interview ever. I guess because what Larry King is pushing eighty, and this kid's pushing what seventeen. Yeah, <laughs> and, and Larry King could know nothing about skateboards. Yeah, nothing. But you got to have you know the people making the news on on Larry King. Man, one time I I took the uh, bottom half off a scooter that was made out of a fruit box yeah. and a two by four and used it as a skateboard to get away from Biff. <laughs> <laughs> you think Anderson Cooper is just giving Larry King like fried food every day? <laughs> Can't wait to step into his uh, his seat. Larry's keeping it warm for now. So uh, here we go, Larry King interviewing Jake Brown, of course, the skater who fell uh, almost 50 feet at the X Games. Yeah. Did you know you were in trouble? Yeah. By the time I got to the top of the ramp, I knew I was in big trouble. <laughs> How badly were you hurt? Um, I think there was a lot of adrenaline at first because I wasn't really that hurt. Uh, right away, I felt What's like. What's your injuries now? I got a uh, fractured wrist, a fractured vertebrae, and a bruised kidney. I mean, bruised liver and lung. And How long just have you been skateboarding? Some crazy whiplash. About 20 years. Why? Oh, it's great fun. I mean, what? once I picked up the skateboard, what? so I have one. Why? See, that's a, that's Why a, would what? you skateboard? What an idiot. Is that like transportation? <laughs> what do you do? Why? Why? Because, first of all, the guy makes money doing it. I mean, the guy, it's not like... He, see, he thinks it's just kids right, in right. the street. Yeah. He doesn't realize it's a sport that is sponsored, and, and these guys, if they're really good at the X Games, are making tons of cash with endorsement deals and everything. Your skateboard? Ew, why? Why? Can, you, why? can you step on the back of it and, like, catch it in your hand? Do you do the what tricks? do you do? <laughs> this guy's been uh, interviewing for over 50 years at this point. A little research. And, and he has to ask, why do you skateboard? Why? Because it's there. <laughs> <laughs> what a tool. But it came out so quick, too. Like, he had it. He was just, it's like, why? So you do this, like, why? why well, that's what he did. He, like, was blasting through the interview. The guy was talking about his injuries, and he interrupted him. What stupid question did he ask him? How long have you been skateboarding? Yeah. So what are your injuries? Well, I got a bruised lung and a thing. How long have you been skateboarding? Well, about 20 years. Ah, you why? Uh, uh, uh. Why the hell skateboard? <laughs> why don't you settle down and get a real job and a woman? <laughs> or a bunch of them like I've done. I can't hold a one of them. He's probably just <laughs> speeding through the interview because he know he might die at any second. Why don't you have children now instead of when you're 80 like me? <laughs> I'll never see my kids skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> that sure ain't happening. Uh, the interview continues here. Where are you from? Australia. Can you make... Where's that? Yeah, yeah, that's all I... Australia? They talk funny there. And winter's summer. Just want to throw that in. Do you skateboard in the winter? Do you put little skis on them? I know nothing. Do kangaroos know how to skateboard? <laughs> <laughs> you ever see a wallaby? <laughs> Isn't how that crocodile hunter died? He got a skateboard in his lung. He was skateboarding. It flipped up and hit him in the chest. I read about it. 
while eating some garlic. <laughs> I had his wife and daughter. Daughter's very cute and funny. <laughs> What's her name? Binzy? <laughs> Do you like Welch's grape juice? <laughs> I like raisins. <laughs> Johnny from Vegas. Larry King uh, kind of sounds like annoyed Jimmy. Uh, he does sound like he's a bit annoyed with this the whole thing that he had to interview this kid. Uh, Some producer had to go, look, dude, this is big. Yeah. And Larry's like, skateboarder, what? The, the war in Iraq, uh, the right. presidential race, and I'm interviewing some oh, uh, Christ. who fell 50 feet. So what? You fell on your ass. I've done it. You got to grab yourself by your bootstraps and pick yourself up. <laughs> Where are you from? Australia. Can you make money skateboarding? Yeah, yeah, that's all I do to me. Oh, my <laughs> God. What is what? it? Yeah, in between pumping gas, <laughs> I... I skateboard. How out of touch is Larry King? <laughs> Larry knows nothing. Can you make money? <laughs> <laughs> Can you make money skateboarding? <laughs> he thinks he's talking to some neighborhood kid that's hoping, you know, kids are going to give him a uh, you know, change yeah. for a trick. I'll give you 10 bucks if you do that. Okay, right, what right. do you do? You bet the uh, neighborhood children? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, yeah, yeah, that's all I do to make money. So I mean, you make it at events like the X Games. You make money, and you make money from sponsors and then events and demonstrations. It's like he's talking to his retarded grandfather. It says blind. Is that a company that makes skateboards? Yeah, that's a. Oh my. Ah, that's good. Are you boning out some fat tricks? <laughs> <laughs> huh? That would be a, an informed Larry. Kelly. What are you doing? A nolly half cab heel flip. <laughs> I, I remember doing that on the half pipe. <laughs> what about a nose blunt? Can you do a nose? Can you make money doing a front side nose slide? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, he wrote this hat it says blind. Is that a company that makes skateboards? Yeah, that's a skateboard company. I write for them. Do you stand regular or goofy? <laughs> What's your stance? Oh, my God. This one sounds like something Opie had uh, last night. A backside disaster. <laughs> 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 what about uh, that speed wobble? The What about the backside nose grind? Can you do that? Do, do one for me now. Oh, you can't? I'll pay you for it. I'll give you three bucks. <laughs> Can you make money? <laughs> is he? Come on. <laughs> why? Were they entertaining this? What I don't understand with Larry King is like, why? What, how would it hurt if you brought in like a young dude to like talk to the young dudes? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just like maybe let uh, somebody for 10 minutes take over your stupid desk and get a yeah. real interview done. Get somebody that knows the maybe not even knows the sport, but like is young enough where he's in touch with it. Alex Rodriguez, you play baseball, you make money at that. <laughs> Can you make money just like hitting a ball? <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a pension plan? <laughs> yeah, how does that work? What about dental and skateboarding? Do you, Do you put money into your 401k? <laughs> How do you supplement your income? <laughs> <laughs> like the old baseball players? <laughs> Are you a truck driver in the off-season to pay the bills? You deliver pizzas with your skateboard just to make a little extra cash. <laughs> <laughs> Moron. He, he hates All right, When you're going up, uh, what's the, the key to, to skateboard? Do you do things that other guys don't do? I mean, at a certain job. <laughs> a lot of people have different tricks, like signature tricks and stuff. But, what's uh, yours? See, he cuts him off. You're right. You're, you know it. Guys have signature tricks. That what's yours? Tell me now. now Jumping please. off a five-story building. End this interview. The biggest trick is getting through this interview with you, you wanker. Signature <laughs> tricks and stuff. But, what's uh, yours? Uh, basically for videos you film, when you film a video part, it, it usually takes about a year or so to film. To a film bunch, a video? Yeah. A year? And it'll be like a two minute segment for each rider or whatever. <laughs> What's your graffiti tag? <laughs> <laughs> wow, so you did an indie nose bone and then what? <laughs> Quick answer. I got another question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he an idiot? Everyone's doing their Larry King on instant feedback. Booby man from Brooklyn in Larry's voice. 
Why skateboard? Why not the bike with the big front wheel and the little back <laughs> wheel? <laughs> and then Kevin from uh, Northern Virginia uh, interviewing Bill Gates. Can you make money in software sales? What is that? Like video games? <laughs> like Pong? Microsoft, are they one of your sponsors? <laughs> that, that tells me it's something small and soft. What does that mean? We used to get a couple bricks and some plywood and do a little jumps in my day, too. That's right. <laughs> I used to jump over a milk crate. Have you ever jumped over a milk crate? It's not as easy as it looks, you know, kid. Why skateboard when there's the horseless carriage? <laughs> Back in the day when I was 60 years old, I used to play Evil Knievel. <laughs> you, ever, you ever do that with your bike you in your front a, yard? <laughs> you get a basket and make a, a basketball hoop for the kids in the neighborhood. <laughs> Our jumping events were mostly equestrian. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> we would do the fox hunt. <laughs> the fox hunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he is lost in this interview. Lost. Lost. Mm. Oh. Uh, Can I do some of these tricks on my little rascal? I have a little rascal scooter. Nick. Is it possible to do, uh, uh, let's say, the electric Frankenstein <laughs> on my little rascal? <laughs> Nate Sack from Jericho as Larry. I did this great trick last week on my show. I killed off Tammy Faye Baker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, they just handed me a note. It said equestrian, and then under equals horse. <laughs> he, he knows how stupid I am. That's a horse. <laughs> Jason from Rye. Microsoft. Is that the opposite of Viagra? <laughs> <laughs> I did a kick flip fakie the other day just getting out of my car. <laughs> I broke a hip. <laughs> Chester's liver. Look, man, I have to do this. If you want to dump out, you can. Uh, as Larry King. In my day, extreme was bringing home a black. <laughs> 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 I just funny. took a Come turn. on, that's just funny. Just, As, I'm sorry, that's funny. All He's these, old and intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> this just took a turn in the right direction. No, no. <laughs> 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 oh. Never hear of the Motley crew. Ah. Uh. In my, <laughs> in my day, Extreme was walking around the Puerto Rican neighborhood with your jewelry on. Brian from St. Louis with a callback, too. Jake, talking about Extreme, have you ever hunted a woolly mammoth? <laughs> <laughs> That's Extreme. Now, on that jump, you caught some fat air. Last time I caught fat air was the interview I had with Mama Cass Elliot. <laughs> she breathed on me. Bill from Waterford. <laughs> Hey, kid, what wife are you up to? I'm up to six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Funny. <laughs> Dopey Larry King. <sighs> All right, here we go. More uh, Larry King interviewing Jake Brown. So, Boy, that's pretty great stuff. Yeah. How important is the board? How important is the board? You know, can't you just put roller skates on? I don't know, Larry. How important is that microphone in front of you, <laughs> yeah. you idiot? Uh, how important is the board? Uh, <laughs> how important is the board? Uh, well, <laughs> how important is the board? Do you really need it? Aren't the wheels the thing doing all the work? Is there some kid just typing questions and just messing with them? <laughs> Type how, how important is the board. See what he says. <laughs> hey, what's your pump music? Benny Goodman? That's some good stuff. <laughs> that should get you psyched. <laughs> how, how important is gravity to this whole thing that you do? <laughs> do you need gravity? Seem to have hurt you the other day. <clears throat> Gravity. Would skateboarding be better done in space? <laughs> My question. A knife troll bong. Could you do that in space? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he gone? Just off. I gotta hear that again. 
So. Boy, that's pretty great stuff. Okay. How important is the board? <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I hate to tear down a wall. We did not. Because we do the exact same thing. When you're fishing for your next question, when you have someone in studio, you'll say something like this. So. Boy, that's pretty great stuff. <laughs> that's uh, well, you'll, you'll great be like, stuff. Wow, so that's because uh, you're thinking of the next question. If in your he head. didn't say that, think how much dead air there'd oh, be yeah, because yeah, yeah. there was dead air after he said that yeah, and came yeah. up with the brilliant how important is the board question. Tearing down another wall for you, but that's <laughs> ah, that's good. We got Chuck Yeager in studio. <laughs> how important are the wings? <laughs> is that something you need in a plane? That's pretty good, brilliant, awesome kind of good stuff for you. <laughs> 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 Oh, what an ass. <laughs> Just a douche. That's pretty great stuff. What is that? <laughs> so, Boy, that's pretty great stuff. Yeah. yeah. How important is the board? Uh, the board's one of the main things. The board, the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the shoes. Why is the kid? I would have been like, Larry. How Larry! important is the board? How could, could you do this without a board? I mean, could you just put wheels and then... The Considering it's called a skateboard, you, how important is the board? It came second. <laughs> Skate, I think, is more important than board. Hey, I think, uh, Larry, what, what 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 is that music called that you... The, the, the pump music, the... Uh, what is The that? pump music, a little Benny Goodman. Well, here's, here's your pump music right here. Oh, there it is. Larry King on a skateboard, everybody. Yeah. Here comes my front side shove it. <laughs> All right, my kick flip lip. This is great. Into the quarter pipe, all goofy footed, into a Smith grind. A Carbondale run into my Ollie fakie. <laughs> wow, am I kicking some ass. All to Benny Goodman. He sure could play the licorice stick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we got the line. Um, That's why we have the bet the greatest listeners in radio. I'm not you know, we give you we we give you a spot on this show, that's for sure. Brian in St. Louis, bravo. Jake should have turned it around and said, Well, how important is a good prenup, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was good. That's the line right there, Brian. All right, here, let's get the rest of this clip out there. So boy, that's pretty great stuff. Yeah. How important is the board? <laughs> Uh, the board's one of the main things. The board, the shoes, the wheels. <laughs> it all comes into play. You want you want to feel comfortable with your entire setup. <laughs> the air we breathe. He he. That poor bastard probably wished he probably wished he was back falling fifty feet than sitting and talking to this fossil. Oh man, how is how important? But the, what? <laughs> A train wreck. Skateboard move or this interview? You tell me, callers. <laughs> <laughs> there's only, but the thing is, there's nothing else to go. It's not like you're racing where there's like a million, the car, the pit, the crew, the everything. It's just a kid on a skateboard and that's yeah. it. That's if you if you were going to use one skateboard lingo to describe me, would it be dope shifty? Because <laughs> I'm feeling like a dope shifty right now. Someone from their cell phone, I would love to give you credit. He writes, hold on, it's updated on me. Oh, I hate when this happens. Good line, too. Uh, can't you just run up and down the ramp? <laughs> <laughs> Could you use a toboggan? <laughs> uh, we used to, you know, skitch behind the ice truck <laughs> in my neighborhood. They deliver big chunks of ice to put into the ice box. Andrew. Andrew. Andrew from Brooklyn. Uh, That's the Space Shuttle Endeavor guy. Oh, uh, I just well, can't we call back. Now we can't uh, All right, talk. listen. We unfortunately have to take a break. Uh, no. Well, we can continue. <laughs> I want to hear can. more, Larry, please. Is there more? <laughs> We're talking with a member of the 82nd Airborne. How important is that parachute? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see uh, hoverboards like in Back to the Future 2? Your thoughts. Go. <laughs> if Biff was chasing you, do you think you could guide him into a manure truck? Go. <laughs> 
Do you think bowling balls would make skateboarding more interesting? <laughs> 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 oh my God. Your thoughts on marbles and skateboarding. <laughs> Could you play Johnny Be Good if your hand was disappearing? Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking with Marty McFly. <laughs> I mean, who? What's your name? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what an out of touch tool <laughs> skateboarding with no ramps your opinions and thoughts <laughs> fireman from uh, Pittsburgh as Larry uh... one time I got into a nosedive fakie into a clueless bomb slide and I finished strong with a dead air 50-50 your I thoughts was kicking ass your thoughts <laughs> When I fell off the toilet, I drew this. I call it the flux capacitor. What do you think, Marty? <laughs> We're interviewing Pat Duffy. <laughs> uh, you can do this all day. <laughs> Are staples important? <laughs> Who's better, you or the bulldog skateboarding on YouTube? Because <laughs> that dog's pretty good. He pushes himself. I've never seen him fall 50 feet. <laughs> What is YouTube? <laughs> By the way, I shouldn't have even known that. <laughs> Holy crap, John from Brooklyn. You know, the Motley Crew. Yeah. Oh my God, this is good. Larry King. I like to introduce the, the, the. <laughs> 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 oh, bravo, John. I got it. All right, we got to take a break. Hopefully, we'll get Perv News in before we leave this side of the... Is uh, there any more Larry Anthony tape? Show. Unfortunately not. Damn it. That was about it, right, uh, Sammy? Yep. That, that's when the kid hung up the phone. <laughs> kid slapped... What do you mean, do I need my board? <laughs> slapped Larry on the side of the head with the skateboard and ran off. <laughs> Oh, that was that was great. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, love Larry. Yeah, such an out of touch ass.